Well, hello everyone, and welcome back. Uh, so today, I just thought I'd do an update on my 2002-2003 uh, quest for a master set of Pacific Private Stock Reserve. So uh, I've made a few acquisitions here since I did it my last update. Starting to get into like, you know, things are getting a little harder to find. As I'm also trying to find, you know, unique patches and uh, two color jersey cards. Um, I've got all the blue rookies now, I believe. Uh, so I'll try to finish out the base set with the blue parallels. But uh, anyway, yeah, we'll get started here. So obviously, yeah, we all know who this guy is. It's Bobby Lou. Nice patch there. I thought that was a nice looking patch. Um, Anton Volchenkov, hobby rookie. 71 of 99. So at one point I had most of these hobby rookies back in the day. I did not have Volchenkov though. Um, and a side note, like it's it's crazy how much the prices on these have come up, come down. Um, like when I was first chasing this set, like there's some cards in here I'll show you that were crazy money. This Volchenkov I, I think was like, I want to say like 50 bucks back in the day. Uh, nowhere near that now, obviously, but he was a great player. Here's a red jersey of David Leguan. So it's obviously a white jersey, but it's the red parallel out of 50. Uh, these are going to be, this set's going to be hard to complete in jerseys, especially if with two color. Like, it's just, I don't know if that's even going to be manageable. I'll do my best, though. Uh, we got a Mari Brodua. Uh, he's a two color here, obviously, it's just his, the standard jersey. I didn't realize it, but I already have one of these in a two color, so I will probably sell either this one or the other one. I guess it just depends on which one's nicer. And we got Jose Theodore, uh, two color jersey. An old painter's tape there. There he is, Jose Theodore. I think that was right around the time he won the Hart Trophy. And we got a Marion Gabrick patch. It's a little little nick out of it there, but uh, you know, it's manageable. It counts. It's part of the set, right? And we got a Brad Richards patch. Oh, way out of focus, Brad Richards patch. Come on, get into focus. There we go. It's in focus now. Look at that, Brad Richards patch. These patches, by the way, they were they were one per box back in the day. There's Owen Nolan. Another three color patch there. And we got Patty Waugh. This is his standard jersey. See how the numbering's just all over the place, like from player to player. It back in the day it made the set really hard to complete because there were certain players like uh, Jerome Ginla, for example, that I think his base card was only numbered to 125. Um, and this this was a pretty hot set back in the day, even though now it's not so much. Like, I don't know if anybody even cares about Pacific anymore. Got an Adam Hall hobby rookie. Scotty Upshaw, hobby rookie to 99. So here's a card that way back when I bought, I bought retail for this when this product was new. I paid $150 for one of these way back because I was just like, I got I to gotta complete the set. I got to complete the set. And uh, I think I got this for, I want to say, $8 or $12. But Hemsky, he had a decent career. Uh, hobby rookie to 99 Like, I wonder, like, was this the, the one I had? Because, I, I don't know, obviously I don't remember the serial numbers on them. But uh, it'd be funny if it was. Jeffrey Taff or Taffy, I don't know how to pronounce that. That was another hobby rookie. I found a I found an eBay seller that had a bunch of these uh, for reasonable prices, so I was able to get a bunch. Uh, Dickie Turnstrom, ninety-eight to ninety-nine. Hey, look at that from the same sequence. That is exciting. And we got Dennis Seidenberg. He had another decent career. Hobby Rookie, 
Pierre Marc Bouchard, hobby rookie. Um, I remember he had a lot of potential, but it, he didn't really quite didn't really really quite live up to it. Uh, I don't know if he was just maybe not built for the NHL. Um, Smirnoff. So this one I would probably have to replace because this here is actually not on the top loader; it's actually on the card. But this is a very affordable card. I think this was five bucks maybe. Um, <laughs> Sixty-nine. Uh, and now I've got this one, Stanislav Chistov. This was a big card back in the day. He was very hyped, um, had a lot of potential. He was probably probably a top five rookie for this year at one point, uh, but obviously he didn't really didn't really live up to the hype. Um, and there is another hobby rookie to ninety nine. Uh, that I have for this set, but it is currently in a box going to PSA for grading, and that is a Henrik Zetterberg uh, hobby rookie to 99, which is uh, that was a white whale for me back in the day because that card was not affordable, and um, even today people are asking quite a bit for those cards when you see them come up. But um, yeah, so that's it for the update on the. 0203 private stock master set just chipping away at it um yeah so i don't know be good everyone buy some cards for a kid or give some cards to a kid and have a great time all right bye everyone